I'm a little salty um, that I wasn't the first person to go to the moon. I mean, I wasn't born yet, but that's still not an excuse. They could have waited. <laughs> What's up, hackers? It's your girl, Goldie. And guys, it is the 50 year anniversary of the first ever moon landing. So we're doing three awesome hacks to celebrate the moon landing and the moon. It's time to hack your world. And for our first hack, we have moon sand. So it's basically kind of like kinetic sand, but it's DIY. It's so much better. Did you guys know if you were ever to hypothetically leave a footprint on the moon, it would always be there. Like it would never leave because there's no wind or nature to mess it up. It might be a little hard to leave a footprint on the moon. So that's why you can leave a footprint in your moon sand and it'll also stay there forever. Unless your parents start away. For this DIY, you'll need sand, baking soda, contact lens solution, clear glue, a bowl, and a stirring stick. First, make a batch of clear slime. Next, gradually mix in the sand. You'll know it's done when it can hold a 3D shape and when you pick it up, it kind of like drizzles apart. It's so sandy, it's so satisfying. I'm literally obsessed. And for our next hack, we have a DIY moon phaser. It's basically a projector to help you visualize the phases of the moon. Let's hack it. For this DIY, you'll need a hole punch, a penny, a ruler, an X-Acto knife, a pencil, an empty oatmeal canister, decorative paper, a flashlight, a screw, a wing nut, and scissors. First, cut an oatmeal-sized circle from the paper and fold it in half. Using the paper as a guide, draw four lines on the bottom of the tube so you end up with eight even sections. Use your penny to trace eight circles. Then, Google the moon cycle and recreate it on the bottom of the tube. Now put that penny away for a rainy day. Next, cut out the shaded portions of the moons. Once you're done with that, cut a hole at the top of the oatmeal canister for the flashlight. Next, make a light block from the decorative paper. Divide it up into eight. Then cut out one triangle to let the light through. Punch a hole through the light blocker and the tube. Then attach them with a screw and wing nut. Last but not least, decorate your moon phaser and you're done. And for our last act, we have a DIY moon lamp. Let's hack it. For this DIY, you'll need a spherical lampshade, gold and white paint, water, a small bowl, a tap light, and a sponge. Use a small bowl to prop up the lampshade so it doesn't roll away. Then apply a layer of white paint with the sponge. Be sure to leave some areas untainted. Once it's dried, apply a layer of gold paint with the sponge. Put the lampshade over the light and you're done. Get ready to bask in the glow of the moonlight. That is it guys, leave a like and subscribe and make sure to turn on that notification bell so you do not miss any more hack along. That is it, Goldie Vlogs signing off.